Mabuhay. Now, Isuzu has always offered the MUX as capable, dependable, and reliable. However, in previous generations, it's often described as lacking a certain panache, too utilitarian in both looks and nature. This new generation, however, promises to be a step up in all facets. Is this Isuzu MUX LSE 4x2 a step in the right direction, or did Isuzu try to do too much? Let's find out. So let's start with the front and up front the first thing you notice is the grill which Isuzu calls the World Cross Flow Grill. Flanking the grills are bi-LED headlights, DRLs and even LED fog lamps. Let's go to the side. Over here at the side is where you can actually get an idea of how big the MUX is. Looking at it from this angle, it really looks long. Anyway, you get 20 inch alloy wheels. I normally don't see that stock on most cars, so it looks really big here. You have a step board and that's basically it. Let's check out the rear. Over here at the rear, you get these nice LED tail lights. And actually one of my most favorite angles of the MUX is from the rear. You should really see it lit up at night. It looks really good. You also have a rear fog light. And not to mention, this also has a power tailgate. That's basically it. But really to sum it all up, I personally really like the way the MUX looks overall because it looks like a very modern take on a macho looking SUV or PPV. Now let's go inside. So now we're inside the Isuzu MUX 4x2 LSE. So just to get it out there, this is the top of the line 4x2 variant. The only difference between this and the LSE 4x4 are the drivetrains. So moving on. In front of me is a 4.2 inch multi-informational display screen that shows your various vehicle settings and information. So you can also change some of the safety settings from the advanced driver assist system. We'll talk about that later in the driving portion. So anyway, here in the steering wheel, on the left side, you have the controls for the screen over here. So that's your infotainment. And on the right side are the cruise controls settings and other settings also pertaining to the ADAS system. This is a 10.1 inch screen that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so good. Down here is the automatic dual zone climate control system, so you can have your own temperature for here, and you can have your own temperature for here also. Gear lever uh, to turn off the vehicle stability control, hill descent, and your parking brake and auto hold. You have cup holders here and a very small cubby hole. And I'm not kidding, it's actually very small. It's my only complaint here in the first row. I wish it was just a little bigger. Time to go to the second row. Here in the second row, the space is actually pretty good. I have to say, even if it's my driving position, it's nice. The headroom though could be a little better. It's not bad, but anybody taller than me might, you know, struggle a little bit. But also before I forget, since this is the LSE, effectively top of the line the seats are wrapped in really nice leather moving on you have a center armrest with two cup holders in front of me I have a socket a legit socket and you can actually plug anything here that's 150 watts and flanked by two USB ports on top of me you have the controls for the air conditioning vents here and bottle holders on each side but now let's test the space in the third row. So the space here in the third row is actually not so bad. I, although my knees are really touching the backrest of the second row, I don't feel uh, ipit or claustrophobic here. It's, it's really not that bad. You have your own air conditioning vents up here, cup holders and a small cubby hole for other stuff. And behind me, there's actually another socket so that you don't have to bother anyone in front to charge your device. And before I forget, it also has remote start. So now we're driving the MUX and before I get to really how it feels, let's talk about first the power. So under the hood is a 3 liter turbocharged diesel engine. It's the same as the one in the D-Max and it's also the same as the one you find in the BT50. It makes 190 PS and 450 newton meters of torque. It is then paired to a 6-speed automatic transmission. And I have to say that it's actually just really quite refined already and I give Isuzu a lot of credit for that. I had driven the previous MUX and it felt really utilitarian and very uh, workhorse type of vehicle. This one 
is so different and I was really really surprised at how refined and quiet this car is to drive in the city it feels like you're not driving anything bigger than a crossover I didn't have a hard time maneuvering the tight streets of Metro Manila I didn't have to look over just to see if I was gonna hit any curbs or any low potholes anything like that so it's such a breeze to drive in the city and the engine's also quite quiet and I didn't really hear it unless I really put my foot down but I really didn't have to because the torque was enough for me to just get going with the slightest throttle inputs also the next thing is the ride oh my god the ride is so good I was so surprised because this is a pickup based uh, SUV and it doesn't feel that way yeah there are bouncy tendencies from time to time depending on the road condition but really quite comfortable there's no harsh uh, dips in the suspension you don't feel any crash when you go through a pothole by mistake uh, it's really smooth and very very comfortable uh, the next thing I'd like to point out also of course is that this version the LSE 4x2 comes with the whole suite of the adaptive uh, sorry not adaptive advanced driver assist system so those are the safety systems that of course make your driving more uh, safe which include the uh, forward collision warning autonomous braking turn braking assist now turn braking assist according to the brochure is if you're taking a corner and a car happens to be there it will break mid corner for you which is I found quite surprising that's not usually found in other safety systems but nonetheless the MUX LSE has that moving on it has pedal miss application so that uh, braking so that's more or less like anti um, SUA you remember the SUA yeah so it has a feature that will make sure that that doesn't happen to you moving on it has also adaptive cruise control with stop and go so there is adaptive cruise control like I'm using now because we're on the highway so it's measuring the distance of the car in front of me it's keeping a safe distance it's applying the brakes and all that but the stop and go that's usually found in just other more advanced systems and that is present here stop and go means that if the car in front of me comes to a complete stop so will this car and when it goes this will move forward also so after that you have the automatic high beam lane departure alert blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert so in other words even if this is only the 4x2 it has the complete suite of the safety so that's a very big plus apart from that you also get seven airbags so to really sum it all up the MUX LSE 4x2 is a step up from what it used to be I cannot stress how big the difference is from the previous generation to this one in terms of refinement and comfort and overall driving experience so in terms of fuel economy I think that the MUX really has it in spades in the city I was able to do around 11 kilometers per liter and on the highway surprisingly it was able to generate a number of around 16 kilometers per liter this Isuzu MUX LSE 4x2 retails for 2.110 million pesos which is actually a pretty competitive price point it's slap bang in the middle of not being too expensive but not questionably cheap at the same time but what I'd like to point out is that they did really do well with the MUX. They upped their game in terms of everything, refinement, comfort, and you can just add that to the bulletproof Isuzu dependability they've built over the years, which makes this MUX actually not just an alternative anymore, but a top choice as well. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. And also, please don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This has been Pablo Salapantan of Yugo Auto. Paalam! Hello everyone, Pablo here of Yugo Auto. Now, if you want to know more about the car you just watched, please scan the QR code over here. And also, please don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. Once again, thank you for watching. Paalam!